How's it going guys? So in the previous video, we learned how to protect routes in our front end from users that are not logged in. And so I want to continue in that same rhythm and show you how to redirect a user to the page they were trying to go to after they're logged in. So when a user goes to our website and goes to slash account, they're redirected to the login page. But after they log in, so when they click login, we want to take them back to that page just to um, boost the user experience and make things run more smoothly. Luckily, React Router makes that very easy for us to do. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remember. So we want to remember this path that they were trying to go to, because when they're redirected, we have no account of that previous path. So to do that, we can use the use location hook. So you're going to want to come in here in the protected routes component and access the use location hook just like that. And let me import that real quick. And so with that hook, um, you have access to the path that they're in. OK, so in this navigate component, it takes a prop called state. And basically, whatever you pass in here, it saves it in the location hook even after the user is uh, redirected to another route. So in here, we can pass in an object and with the field from and the value location. So basically, we want to save the location in a state so that we can use it later uh, later on after they log in. Also, make sure you pass in the prop replace is true so that when the user is redirected um, and they press back page, they're not taken back to the page they were just redirected from, but they're taken back to the page that they were at before. So. So once we have this done, we're good on this component. And I'm just going to go in this component that I made over here with my login buttons. And this is the little mechanism I made to log in users and log them out. So there's two things that we need to ac access to get this done. First, we need to access the navigate component. And this is going to let us navigate users programmatically so it's the same exact thing as the navigate component, but instead of a component, it's a hook. Then we want to also access the use location hook. Because we um, attach this state to the location, it's going to be still attached to this hook after they're redirected. So that's how we access this state. So right down here, first of all, the first thing we want to do is check if location has a state. And you can do that by doing location dot state question mark. Question mark means like, um, is it undefined? And if it is continue. So we're going to continue. If there's a state, we want to check if there's a from. And if all of these things are true, then we want to go ahead and navigate our user to location dot state dot from. So yeah, that's actually all we have to do because the location was stuck in the state react router handles the rest of the things for us and just like that we got a quick boost to the user experience so let me just test this out real quick let me navigate over to slash account okay and now let me log in there and as you can see we redirected back to where we we're trying to go and it's the same thing when we log out log back in there we are and really quick, I just want to thank my friend here from the comment sections. Uh, thank you for giving me the idea to make this video, and I hope it helps you a lot and helps many others along the way.